Well, hello there, Sagittarius. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm sorry you've been gone for a couple of weeks. My daughter had a baby, and um, so I've been enjoying all of that <laughs> with the new baby. So baby Rose is good and healthy, and so um, is mom, and everybody's great, and I feel so blessed. So it is good to see you. I have missed you. Um, so today we are going to be doing your general tarot reading. This is for a mid-June to mid-July. So it's good for the next four or five weeks. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards and then we'll move to the tarot for more details um, about any obstacles on your path or areas of resistance as well as advice from spirit. And so let's see what we have here. Draft spirit, see the big picture. And this is your energy. I mean, that's very much Sagittarian energy. Seeing the big picture of something that is going on in your life and miracles. Expect the wondrous <laughs> to emerge yeah I think that when you um we're going to get into the trope but I feel like when there's a situation in your life where you could be kind of concentrating on perhaps like an obstacle or or it, it kind of like down in the weeds of something, right? Kind of like looking at the details of something. When you take a step back from it and you see the bigger picture of the situation, it's almost like you get the clarity. It's like, it's a miracle. Like <laughs> you see the way forward. Really interesting energy there. Because it is, yeah, uh, and it could have something to do with a family situation. Now, this could be a soul tribe family. This could be a work family environment, you know, just kind of like your co-workers, your, you know, or it could be your actual family. There's a situation here where, you know, either you or the person you're dealing with is kind of like, you know, looking at who did what or, you know, how this was caused because of this, something like that. It's kind of like, uh, let's just take the, the look at the big picture. You know, there's a lot of love in this situation or there's still, you know, a lot of cooperation or yes, we can still get this job or project or situation resolved. You know, it's understanding that um, the, the concentration, the focus is on something, yeah, that is just kind of like preventing you from seeing the clarity. Yeah, confidence is your key to success. Being confident that this can come to fruition, that this can play out the way that you would like for it to play out. Um, it, it could be, too, sometimes this energy comes in when either we or somebody we are dealing with is trying to control the situation, right? <laughs> it's kind of like taking your hands off of the rain and letting the divine, letting things work out the way that they're supposed to. Yeah, this is beautiful. Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. Yeah, you're just concerned. You know, there's a burden here. You're very concerned that this is not going to play out the way that you want it to. But with the Wheel of Fortune, what is destined to come onto your path is going to come onto your path. You're going to get what it is that you really need. Um, okay, so right now, your present energy is you have a family card. Expect powerful change and then the world. So the world card indicates something is coming to an end. It could be the conflict is coming to an end. A relationship is coming to an end. Something has to change because you have status quo, right? that what is working right now is not working because we have the fives uh, we have the five of cups and the five of swords both the fives really indicate okay i can't do this anymore there's a, this energy of okay this is just the way it always is right things aren't going to change unless i make a change looking at the bigger picture of how this is really kind of like being a burden for you so what is it that you want out of this situation? Looking at the bigger picture, not being kind of caught up in what you might lose or, you know, it's kind of like, what is it that you would really want? It's kind of interesting because today is the new moon in Gemini. And, you know, the new, moon, new moons are really about kind of like taking some time to look at what it is <laughs> that you would like to bring into your life. Because I feel as if you have a little bit of energy here where you don't think it can happen, right? It's like, I don't think this can happen. But something here is destined for you. 
This situation is meant to play out for you. Yeah, you have the four of wands here. Happy family, happy home. You know, the loving woman. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then the lover's card. Seeing the truth in this situation. Yeah. I think that you're really anxious about one, one aspect of this relationship or a situation. You know, there's something here that you're very anxious about. And yet at the same time. Yeah. It, it could be. Okay, you could be in a situation where you could be dealing with somebody that's hot one day, cold the next, you know, hot, cold, hot, cold. <laughs> um, because we have this energy of, you know, like a cold shoulder, anxiety, oh, here's the love, oh, he, you know, silent treatment, that type of thing, perhaps dealing with a player. So it's taking a look at the situation. What is it that you want for yourself? perhaps taking your focus off of what somebody else is doing, right? Or how they are treating you and just getting back into, into okay, wait a minute. What is it that I want for myself, okay? Um, if this is a relationship, I want a relationship where somebody is consistently showing up for me, right? Is cherishing me, sees the good in me, right? That, um, you know, I, I um, can feel like I can trust them, that I'm safe and secure with them instead of kind of going back and forth. Understanding that that when you take a look at what it is that you want for yourself in the long term, right, and specifically maybe taking the player, the character or characters in the situation kind of out of the limelight. Okay, so it's kind of like, I'm not going to focus on what is happening, okay, in this situation. I'm going to turn and focus on what I want for myself, okay? Stepping into this energy of what do I want to create for myself? Because you have the loving woman and the empress twice, okay? This is the empress energy. What do I want to build for myself? What do I want for myself? What do I want in a romantic relationship? What do I, how, what type of relationships do I want with my family, right? And getting kind of like really clear on that. And when you get clear on that, then it's about focusing your energy, not on, on perhaps how you can change people or how you wish they would change or something, but instead bringing yourself in alignment with what it is that you want, the energy, the energetic vibration of what it is that you want for yourself. Wow, that is <laughs> really pretty spectacular because when you do, you completely change the energy in this situation and you step into a new world, whether it's with these people or not, because it doesn't matter. It's kind of like the focus comes back on what is it that you want for yourself. And in particular, you don't have to think about what you want with these people or this person, okay? It's kind of like, no, what do you just want? And then going back and saying, okay, do, do I think that these people or this person can play into that? And if not, it's time to kind of like distance, give less time and energy to that relationship or relationships and align yourself, right? Have your vibration go towards what it is that you want. I feel like this person or this situation is bringing down your vibration. Therefore, you can't step into what it is that you truly want. Yeah. So let's take a look at what your um, obstacle or your area of resistance is. Yeah, believe in the impossible. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. You know, I, this could be a romantic relationship where you're wanting, okay, to be in a committed relationship. The Queen of Pentacles is the epitome of, you know, a spouse, right? The King and Queen of Pentacles are is the epitome of like the very happy married couple, <laughs> you know, and it's not about gender here. It's just about stepping into that energy of wanting perhaps a counterpart in your life that is committed, is responsible, is, you know, loving, reliable, you know, is has, you know, a financial stability brings stability because i feel like with the four of wands that is what you're wanting you're wanting a loving relationship that brings you stability 
and you're optimistic at, at, at times, but because this is in your area of resistance, you're going back and forth. And it could be because you're giving time and energy to something that can't give you what it is that you really and truly want. I think you kind of know what it is that you want. And yet at the same time, you could be with somebody that isn't in alignment with what it is that you want. And they're draining your energy. You know, if this is a work situation, this would be kind of like, you know, having a boss that kind of says, yes, Sag, you know, next next month we're going to give you a project of your own and you can just run with it, right? And then the next month comes and they're like, ah, I really need you to work on this other thing. You know, we'll get we'll get to your special project or your special idea once you get this done. So you're kind of like high then low, high then low, right? It's understanding, okay, you're playing it safe because you feel a little bit as if the situation is going to turn around. It may and it may not. It's about coming into alignment with understanding what it is that you want and then just focusing on that, not focusing on what do I have to give this situation, right? It's focusing more on what it is that you really and truly want, getting into this positive energy of knowing <laughs> that you have the confidence, right, to manifest what it is that you really and truly want for yourself. And looking then at this situation, this relationship, and asking yourself, hmm, do I really think that this person, this situation is, is in alignment with that? It's almost like you have to get kind of truthful with yourself about, am I just holding myself back? Am I staying in this situation out of fear? Like that I fear there isn't a better situation out there for me? Or the fear that, you know, that this is the best that it, it, there is, right? The status quo, is this the best that there is? It's really about just focusing back, is taking your attention and focusing back on what it is. Big picture, what is it that you want in the end? Yeah, for yourself, for yourself. Like putting, putting yourself first and saying, okay, what is it that I want? What is it I know that I deserve? And then putting your focus on that. Um, and I think that the other stuff is going to kind of like start falling away that is in alignment with that. Yeah, because you have professional assistance and a new romantic cycle begins. I think for some of you, this is a relationship, right? That you may need professional assistance in order to give you guidance on perhaps how to get out of this situation, you know, maybe financially or something like that. You also may want to, you know, um, go to some type of counseling or, or, you know, a therapy or something about trying to get more in alignment with what it is that you want. Looking at how this situation is perhaps draining your energy. Because you have a new romantic cycle beginning. In other words, when you put yourself in alignment with what you really want, if this person really feels that shift because you have expect powerful change, right? If that person, if this person is really kind of in alignment with you and they feel the shift, then maybe they all of a sudden say, hey, let's go to counseling together, right? I want to work on our relationship. If there's something that you're really wanting and you go in that direction and they're not interested, that's kind of also a sign, okay? I have to go my own way um, because, uh, yeah, you have the Knight of Pentacles. You're putting in the work, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is that you're willing to put in the work to go after what it is that you truly want for yourself, knowing that it may be one baby step after another, right? That it may take some time to get there, but that you're willing to be consistent, showing up <laughs> consistently for your own dream. Yeah, look, we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom. You know, I feel like right now the energies are a little bit where we're having difficulty at seeing what it is that we really and truly want. It's almost like a uh, you know, like a, a cosmic confusion. <laughs> and with this new moon in Gemini, you know, spending time. Yeah, look at this. You have the full card and then the high priestess. 
you know that there is something that you are wanting to do something new i feel like for a lot of you you're either wanting if this is a a, a job or a career situation there is something new that you want to go and explore that is more in alignment with the life that you are wanting to build for your life or if it's a relationship you know that this even if you want to stay in the relationship, you know that you have to spend more time out of the relationship building a business that you want to build for yourself, going back to school, doing something that is in alignment with what you want for yourself in the long term. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah, seeing clearly what it is that you want and going after it. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like for some of you, you're getting clarity about, yes, I want, I think, a lot, some type of long-term committed relationship, whether that is romantic um, or if it is um, a business, okay? You're getting clarity about it. You're ready to defend what it is that you want for yourself. And it's a, a little bit of this like drawing a line in the sand, you know? It's kind of like, yeah, this is what I want. And if I can't get it out of the people in my life, the situation in my life, then it's time for me to move on because the Queen of Swords cuts out everything that is in the way of what it is that she wants for herself in the long term, right? Distractions, drama, <laughs> you know, people, whatever it is, it's kind of like, okay, I'm bringing the sword down and cutting it out because you're tired. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of tired of worrying about an end. It's almost like you may intuitively know that this situation isn't going to work out for you, but it's like you're not quite yet ready to end a certain situation or make those changes, draw that line in the sand, something like that. But that is the problem is that you're putting a lot of time and energy into figuring out the ending or if you should do the ending. Just realign yourself with what your heart truly desires as you move forward. The big picture of life. What is it that you want? What type of relationships? What kind of career? What kind of purpose and work would you like to align yourself with, right? What experiences would you like to have? Putting yourself in alignment with that and making that your driving force will help you to see clearly, okay? It's kind of like they're showing me you know, the clear sky in the back, you know, having that clarity of what it is that, um, the direction, what needs to be done, what needs to be cut out, what needs to stay and what needs to go. Yeah, beautiful energy. All right, let's pull a soul truth card for you. And Sagittarius, I do do personal reading. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Yeah, I think you're focused on what you might lose if you leave the situation, right? Instead of what you're gaining. It's about taking a look at the big picture. What is it that I really want in my life? And then it's almost as if I feel like if you wrote it down, what is it that I really want in my life? Okay, and it's once again, not about this person changing or or, or whatever, it's kind of like, what do I want for myself, right, in this life? What experiences am I looking to have? And then, okay, and then when you get in alignment with that, then you can kind of like see, is this going to work for me or not? Is this something I need to cut out? Because dwelling on what you may lose in this situation instead of what you may gain if you leave the situation is holding you in place, right? Um, are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings, yes. And you do have a bright new uh, beginning here because you have the fool card on the bottom, right? It's kind of understanding that this, you know, is destined for you. 
The miracle lies ahead when you allow yourself to walk away from something that isn't working for you, right? And to embrace something new that is wanting to come in. Wow, beautiful energy. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Saj. Um, I really do um, appreciate all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I wish you so much love and light in this situation, all your situations, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.